Welcome to quick overview of Engine FX, a geometry node based engine trust animation creation pack for Blender. Once you download the pack in Blender, go to Edit Preferences and under File Paths, you can locate your asset library directories. You can either put the Engine FX Blend file in one of your existing libraries or create a new one by locating the folder of the blend file. To access the library, create a new window and change it to Asset Browser. Select the library containing the FX pack. And just like that, you have access to the engine FX presets and their building blocks. To get started, just drag and drop one of the presets to the scene. Immediately, you will not see anything if you are in frame 1. Scrub the timeline to see the effect. You can always change the starting frame and the duration of the effect from the modifier under the animation section. Effects will work in both Cycles and EV. To tweak the settings of the preset, you can simply change these values in the modifier, such as speed, duration, length, color, and etc. All the presets you see is made using either tails or shape arrays, or both. In a new geometry node setup, you can drag and drop those tails and shape arrays to create your desired effects. You can either use one of the basic materials or you can create your own material and use the provided shader groups to create a quick shader for your effect, such as fluid noise and moving lines. If you like to have an aura surrounding your shape array, just drag and drop shape aura node group from custom geometry function to your setup. Want your effect to always rotate towards the camera so it won't look flat? Then use the camera facing node group. And once you have finished creating the effect, you can use the engine start timer to start the animation. Refer the presets to see how these things put together to get a good understanding. Attributes play a big part in bridging the values between the geometry nodes editor and the shade editor. You can easily identify them with their maroon color. In some of the presets materials, you will see some attribute nodes surrounded by maroon color frame while some of the nodes have the maroon color on itself. Maroon color frame represents the attribute you will find inside the basic tails and shape array setups. And the maroon color nodes are the attributes that are created specifically for that preset. So if you are using one of the presets materials with a different FX, make sure to create some values for those attributes in order to make them work. If you want to create a custom shape tail, create your shape, add a geometry node modifier and then drag and drop custom tail node group to your setup. Use other geometry functions or building blocks to create your own unique shape trust effect.